<laughs> but we got a little time, so you know. But you see how Jesus was born again? He was born of a woman in a man's family. Then he was born of the spirit, which is in the God family. And that's what we have to be. We're born in man's family right now, aren't we? We got to be born in God's family. We have to become spiritual beings. That which flesh is flesh, that which is spirit is spirit. You must be born in the water, and you must be born in the spirit. What's the water? The word of God. What's that spirit? Spiritual body. Simple. Yes, sir. Come on, how can you, you can't get around this. The master explained this to you perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Uh, that in all things he might have the preeminence. That in all things he might have preeminence. Let's go to 1 Peter. We got one more. 1 Peter 1 and 22. 1 Peter 1 and 22. We got one more after this. 1 Peter 1 and 22. Now Peter is going to break some of it up for you. 1 Peter 1 and 22. Go ahead. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth. Hey, don't you spirit. see that? Uh, see how you have purified your souls in doing what? Obeying the truth. Then that what Paul told you you had to put on first? Or put on the truth first. That's right. And then walk in righteousness, didn't he? That's it. Then what David tell you, thou desire truth in the inward part. And we know the truth is the word of God, don't we? Amen. Amen. Go ahead and read. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through uh, the Spirit. Uh -huh, through the uh, Word, right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Unto unfeigned love of the brethren. Uh huh. Seeing that ye love one another with a pure heart, fervently, being born again. Hold it now. He said, being born again. Now he's going to tell you what he's talking about. Go ahead. Not of corruptible seed. Not of corruptible seed. Go ahead. But of incorruptible. But of incorruptible. What are you talking about? Immoral body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Not, now he said being born again, not of corruptible, but of what? Incorruptible. Yes. And what is incorruptible? What is corruptible? This body right here. What's incorruptible? And a, a spiritual body. Yes, sir. Make it plain, brother. He just summing it up for you. Yes, sir. He ain't telling you you born again because you went to church and got faith in the Lord and all this stuff now. He ain't telling you what he's talking about. Well, go ahead and read. Finish that. But of incorruptible by the word of God, uh -huh. which liveth you and see abideth what? forever. You see what's going to uh, uh, get you uh, the uh, uncorruptible body, the incorruptible body? The word of God, which liveth and abideth for how long? Forever. Ever. This word is going to buy forever. Now let's go to the last, uh, uh, last book here. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15 chapter. 1 Corinthians 15, and we're going to pick it up at verse 51. 1 Corinthians 15 and 51. And Paul going to say a mouthful right He's going to even tell you when you're going to get this incorruptible body or this mortal body. Go ahead and read it. Behold, I show you a mystery. Uh -huh. We shall not all asleep. Uh -huh. But we shall all be changed. You see that everybody not going to die when the Lord comes. So he said we shall not all sleep, but we everybody going to be changed, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody going to be changed. Go ahead and read. In a moment. Uh-huh. And the twinkling of an eye uh -huh. at the last trump. Go ahead. He said, you're going to be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of the eye at the last trump. We ain't even heard the first trump yet, have we? No, sir. So we, so we definitely ain't heard the last trump, that seventh trump yet. That's when you're going to get your spiritual body. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. For the trumpet shall sound. Uh-huh. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. The dead going to be raised what? Incorruptible. Incorruptible. Go ahead and read. And we shall... And we shall be changed. Now you, but you ain't gonna get this incorruptible body until you hear that seventh trumpet, and the Lord gonna say, "Come up hither." Go ahead and read. Fifty-three. Uh huh. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. Uh huh. And this mortal must put on immortality. You see that? This this uh, mortal must put on immortality. Because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So you got to put on immortality. 
Teach. But when are you going to do that, though? When are you going to put on this immortality at that last trumpet, at that seventh trumpet? Yes, but go ahead and read, yes, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when the corruptible shall have put on incorruption, uh -huh. and this mortal shall have put on immortality, go ahead. Then shall be brought to pass. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that uh -huh. is written. Uh huh. Death is swallowed up in victory. Death is swallowed up in victory. So there you have it. Born again now, now or at the resurrection? At the resurrection. That's when you're gonna be born again. And you're not going to get that until the Lord uh, uh, blows that seventh trumpet. And that's when death is going to be swallowed up in victory. I thank you. And now we're going to have the reading of the announcements. Grace and peace to our brothers and sisters here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit, we hope you come back and worship with us again next Sabbath. There's no eating or drinking in the sanctuary with the exception for water. Brothers and sisters, please adhere to the dress codes of Israel's Church of the Living God. Brothers, please remove any head covering upon entering the building. Do not wear sleeveless shirts, fleece jogging pants, shorts, tight-fitting pants, or any other revealing pants. Sisters, you must have a head covering. This is required. Hat, scarf, etc. Do not wear shorts, skorts, midriff, or see-through blouses, mini dresses, mini skirts, halter tops of any kind, revealing splits, tight fitting, or cleavage revealing attire, modest apparel only. The Bible and scarves we have available are for visitors and new members only. If you use a Bible scarf that belongs to Israel's Church of the Living God, please return it prior to leaving. Free will donations and offerings are welcome and appreciated. For those that are joining us online, you may send your donations to attention. Rodney Russell at P.O. Box 8933, Waukegan, Illinois, 60079. Again, that would be P.O. Box 8933, Waukegan, Illinois, 60079. And as always, uh, PayPal is up and operating on our website, it will be Israel's Church of TLG.org. Again, it will be Israel's Church of TLG.org. And finally, brothers and sisters, please continue to pray for one another. These are today's announcements. Okay, if you'd like to contact us here at Israel's Church of the Living God, you can give us a call at 847-636-4792. That's 847-636-4792. And we would like for you to follow us on our website, Israel's Church of TLG dot org. Israel's Church of TLG dot org. And that's going to be all the announcements for today. So we're going to uh, stand and face Jerusalem and turn out. Our Father, our Father, which are in heaven, which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. For thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us of our debt. And forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From evil. From evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. In Jesus' holy name we pray. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.